So guys, we have got a huge shipment of parts in from SubaruPartsDeals.com to finish up the STI. This should be every piece we need to get this car up and going and complete. So now is the mad rush to go ahead and get it all started. And I think today's video, we're gonna tackle the new Type RA Alcantara steering wheel, the clock spring, and all the airbags and seat belts and get that SRS issue over and done with. I still don't know if I can reprogram or reset the SRS module with the Subaru Select Monitor 4, if I need to send it out or if I need to replace it, but we'll figure it out in the video. Let's go ahead and jump into it. So guys, here are our side curtain airbags, passenger front seat belt in the red and our red rear seat belts to replace the blacks and have a full matching set. Our interior is pretty uh, rough looking right now. I've already removed the rear seat. It's literally just two clips here and it pops out. I pulled off the trim pieces on the side to access these rear shoulder belts. Should be no more than uh, one bolt there and then one bolt down here that anchors them to replace those. Uh, we've got the cover piece, trim piece out over here for the passenger seat belt, we had to cut that in the video before last, I believe it was, because it had blown the pre-tensioner was so taut. So uh, we'll go ahead and start putting those in. Once that's done, we'll go ahead and put the side curtains in and clock spring, new steering wheel, and uh, wire in our airbag module. And uh, yeah, I said new steering wheel because I got an Alcantara Type RA S209 steering wheel. So we've got a bit of a war zone going on in here. The whole interior is basically gutted out. I had to drop the headliner to snake this stupid side curtain airbag in. So just pulled it back where we can uh, snake it on down and bolt it into place. All right guys, so we've got the whole right side in and bolted down, now to do the left side. Well guys, nothing ever goes smoothly or to plan it seems, and uh, this is no exception to that. I went to go and put the left side curtain airbag in and I had a second right side. So looked on eBay, I did order a left side one. I contacted the seller and they're sending me the correct one now, but that doesn't do me any good. So I started doing some other stuff like uh, bolting 
the fan motor up to the new shroud, looked at the other shroud and realized it was cracked in two places. So I got the old plastic welder out and fixed that. And I fixed, where was the second boo-boo? It was, uh, it's bad when you fix it so good you can't even figure out where it was broken at, right? Uh, right there. So plastic welder to work there, plastic welder to work there. And uh, this clip actually cracked when I was uh, taking the wiring harness out. So uh, plastic hot staple in there. So should be good to put that back together and have both cooling fans ready to go. I'm going to try to go ahead and do the clock spring and the steering wheel, even though the headliner is uh, falling on my head and the entire interior is a mess. So you guys have seen me replace a clock spring before and a steering wheel. So I'm not going to go too in depth on this. Just ready to knock it out and really ready to get this car up and going. So we need to strip the old leather steering wheel because I got that Type RA uh, S209 Alcantara wheel. And then we need to get in here and uh, pull this defunct old uh, clock spring out. All right, guys, so the Alcantara steering wheel is on. We also have the piano black trim piece down here. And uh, we've got quite a few things checked off. I'm going to hook the scan tool up and see how much ABS stuff we can get rid of. Uh, all of our clock spring is good. All of our buttons work. Already tested all that. Yeah, we'll go ahead and get the scanner out and see what all is going on. We should only have like one or two codes for circuit on the left-hand curtain airbag now. All right, guys, we are back a week later, and we finally have our correct left-hand curtain airbag. So uh, let's go ahead and put it in here and get this interior back together, less the center console because our ABS module will not be back in until tomorrow from programming. <laughs> All right, guys, and with that, all of our airbags and all of our seat belts are replaced in the vehicle. We can start putting all of this back together now. So, guys, there we've got it all back together, other than that dome light and the center console and glove box area, because I have to have all that loose to get the uh, ABS control module back in under there. So, got to leave these couple of pieces out for the console. But other than that, we are all back together. Nice red seat belts, Alcantara steering wheel out of a S209 or Type RA, and uh, some little upgrades here and there. I really want to get rid of the faux carbon fiber. Would love to get the cherry blossom red S209 trim, but I'm sure it costs a fortune to get from Japan for the two little pieces on either side, so I might just go with the newer STI piano black to match. But uh, yeah, there we go. So uh, now that that's done, aside from the module, I guess we just gotta wait till tomorrow. All right, so it's been two weeks, I think, start to finish trying to get the airbag stuff taken care of. I don't know why in the world I keep saying ABS. I mean airbag, 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 or SRS. So our module is back from being reflashed. All the crash data should be out of it. We're gonna plug it up now and uh, start the car up and see if our Magical little airbag light has finally disappeared on us. All right, moment of truth. We replaced all the airbags. We've replaced our seat belts. Did this solve our airbag concern? Or do we still have a fault? We still have a fault. <laughs> Jeez, and I don't have my scan tool with me, but that's it guys, uh, I don't know what else to do. I gotta get this video up today. So uh, we got our airbag module reprogrammed. We got the uh, crash out of flashed out of it. We still have an SRS concern. I don't know if I just need to go through and reset or uh, what the deal is, but I don't have my scan tool with me. I just ran over here and picked this up because it just got delivered. So I guess I'm just gonna have to tell you later in the comments or in the description of the video what I find out once I get it back to my house and hook the scanner up to it and see what other SRS codes we're still dealing with. With that said, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you all in the next one.